Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we are going to see the different ways in which the while loop is used in Python. Okay, so let's get started. So in example one, there is the basic simple while loop. So first of all, we have taken a variable count and we have initialized zero to it. Then now while we have used the while while is a keyword in python which specifies that we are using the while loop then after writing while we have to give the condition now in this code we are going to print the integer value till 5 so we have given the condition 5 less than count less than 5 so what is happening and then we are printing the count and we are doing the incrementation by 1 each time the while loop executes it will get implemented by one and it will check for this condition so at initial value it is zero so zero is less than five so zero will get printed then this line of code will increment the zero by one so now this count will become one then it will check for one so one is also less than five so it will print one also then it will again increment it by one now it's become two then 2 is also less than 5 so 2 will also get printed 3 will also get printed 4 will also get printed but when it will come to 5 so 5 is not smaller than 5 5 is equal to 5 then it will get stopped so whenever the condition becomes false the body will stop working the body will work only till the condition is true so now i'll execute the cell and you will see that at first zero value is getting printed then one is getting printed then two three and four and five is not getting printed because five the condition is getting false at five if i will do it here equal sign means less than equal five so now five will also get printed because now the condition gets true after five yeah so that this was the basic simple while loop while loop now come to the example two uh, for taking user input in the while loop so first of all we have taken a variable user input and then we have taken an empty string in it now the while keyword followed by the user input this variable then we have applied a string method lower which will convert the input automatically into lower cases and then we have use the not equals operator and we are checking that if the input is not equal to quit then do what then in this user input take input then we are printing that input now what will happen if i'll execute the cell i'm writing anything it will because it is inside the while loop it will ask for again and again until if you'll write if you'll write python also then also it not work what is here written here is written that type quit to exit only it will exit from the loop when you will type quit and will press enter then it will exit uh, exit from the loop so this was how you can take user input for correct input okay now moving on to example three uh -huh. We are going to check how we are going to use the break statement inside the while loop. Okay. So first of all, uh, we are getting inside an infinite loop. So for that we have used the while and then true. Now what it will do, it will take us into infinite loop until the condition not get false or the break statement is not come to use. Okay. So what we are doing here inside the while loop, we are taking a user input in which uh, we are asking for a, a number that enter number and then type exit to end okay then we have given a condition here that if this user underscore input variable then we have applied the lower method equals equals to exit then do what then break means only if it will be exit equals to exit our user input if it will be equal to exit then only it will be breaked else it will again ask for the number again and again okay and then we are taking a variable num 
in that we are converting this user input into integer using the integer function and then we are printing the number and we are doing using the exponential operator we are doing the square of that number okay now when i'll execute the code what will happen let's see so it is asking for enter a number i'll give three then it is as you can see the exponential operator doing its job uh, first is printing the num as you can see here num and then the square of it nine so you can give any number it will do the square of it if you'll give any number it will do the square of it only it will get uh, out of the loop when you'll write exit so we have to write exit press enter and now this we are uh, because this condition becomes true when we write exit so this break statement comes to use and it's break the while loop and we are now out of the while loop okay so this was the use of break statement inside the while loop now here in the example 4 we will see the use of else condition with the while loop so first of all uh, we have initialized the value of num to 0 and then we are checking for the condition that while num less than 5 so what we are doing we are simply printing the num and then we are incrementing num plus equals 1 so that each value should get printed now after that we have used the else now in the conditional statements else are used only with the if 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 block is uh, correct then if is get used else the else part is else block is get used now here what will happen and in the else we have printed load complete now when i'll execute the code you will see that first the while loop is getting executed all the numbers still four getting printed and then after that the else is also getting executed means when we are using else with the while loop what happens first it does the job of the while loop and then after that when the while loop job has been completed this condition becomes false then coming out of the while loop the else part is performed okay so this is the use of else with the while loop now coming on to the last example that is example 5 how we can skip a proper iteration with the use of the continuous statement that we will see in this code snippet so we have initialized the value of num to 0 first so first we have done the initialization then we are giving the condition using the while keyword that specifies that we are using the while loop so while num less than 5 now coming inside the while loop we are incrementing the num with one so num plus equals one now the use of the continue comes here we have given a condition if num equals equals to three then do what then just continue okay and then we are printing num so what will happen first the zero will get print then one will get print because the num is getting incremented num is getting incremented and it is checking for this condition until it's met three it will check for the con condition again and again so at zero at starting it is zero so it will come here it will get increment incremented uh, incremented and then after that it is checking for this condition so now now num is equals equals zero so it will not go inside this conditional statement and then it will print that num then again the incrementation has been done so now it's become one so again it will come here again it will check here no num is not equals to three so again one will get print then two will get print now when the time of three will come first the incrementation will be happen then when the time of three comes the condition will be true the condition will be met and then this continuous statement will work so what will happen the three will be escaped the three will not get print because we have because the continuous statement is come to use it will just throw the interpreter to here and this line of code will not work so we'll see yeah like this num1 is getting printed 2 is getting printed then 3 is not getting printed and then 5 is getting printed so this is the use of the continuous statement with the while loop so i hope you like the video thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video